Good morning, children. As you know, nowadays in class 3, we are doing the chapter fun with give and take. Our today's topic is framing story sums. In the previous videos, you have learned how to solve story sums. Now, solving story sums and framing story sums are different from each other. So, today you are going to learn how to frame story sums. Now, children, for framing story sums, one or two statements will be given to us. Then we can frame the question according to the given statement. This question can be either an addition problem or a subtraction problem. So let's begin. Addition word problems can be framed using different terms like total, in all, altogether, etc. While for taking away type, comparison type, reduction type sums or less than type sums, subtraction word problems will be framed. Question number one, frame the story sum. Ankur has 13 mangoes while Sneha has 11 mangoes. Here in the picture you will see Ankur is having 13 mangoes while the girl Sneha is having 11 mangoes. Now it's up to you students whether you want to frame the story sum of addition or you want to frame the story sum of subtraction. Now here two numbers are given in this statement. This is the given statement. 13 mangoes with Y Ankur and 11 mangoes are with Sneha. So if you want to frame the story sum of addition, you will add these two numbers. And if you want to frame the story sum of subtraction, you will subtract these two numbers. First, we are framing the story sum of addition. So, we will add these two numbers. 13 plus 11 is 24. And for this, you will write the question, how many mangoes do they have in all? Or, if you want to frame the story sum of subtraction, you will subtract these two numbers. 13 minus 11 is 2. And for this, you will write, this is a comparison type question. Who has more mangoes and how many more? Our second question is, Rohan was reading a book. He read 41 pages on Monday and 45 pages on Tuesday. So, I am going to frame the story sum of addition here. I am framing the story sum of addition. For this, we need to add these two numbers. 41 plus 45 is 86. And our question for this statement, we will write this question, how many pages did he read in the two days? Now our third question is, 34 birds are sitting on a tree 20 feet away. This is the given statement here. Now you can see in the picture, earlier 34 birds were sitting on the tree, then 20 flew away. Flew away means now they are not sitting on the tree. It means number of two, number of birds who are sitting on the tree are, they are less than 34. So this becomes the subtraction problem. That's why we are subtracting here 34 minus 20 is 14. And for this we will frame this sum. How many birds are still sitting on the tree? Now in the next part, a farmer has 54 cows, 28 goats and 12 sheep in the farm. Now he is having many animals. This is the statement given to us. And here in this statement, this farmer is having many animals. So for finding out the total, we will add all these numbers, 54 plus 28 plus 12. Total will become 94. Here I am framing the story sum of addition. So for that we will write how many animals does he have in total. Thank you.